Midjourney just released a new feature called Describe that will let you turn an image into a text prompt. I think this can open up for even more creative prompts since we now we will get an insight into how Midjourney thinks about the text to image relations, right? Let's just get in and check out this new feature. Let's just have a look at how you use this new feature. So it's pretty simple. When you are on MidJourneyBot, just go slash and select describe. Grab your image you want to turn into a prompt. Just drop it in here and hit enter. Okay, so we now have the prompts, but before we take a look at them, let's look at the image we sent in. So here we have a, it's a mouse in a golden armor looking over in New York. Pretty simple like that. And let's take a look here. In the first suggestion, we have a mouse in armor stands on top of a cityscape. Yeah, that's good. In the style of epic portraiture, white and gold celebrity photography. Okay, New York City scenes. That's interesting. A rat in a gold suit on top of the cityscape. Okay, epic fantasy scenes. So let's try to run some of these prompts. Uh, I'm a bit worried about the aspect ratio here, so I'm going to change that up. Let's just grab this one and I'm going to run it and see how it compares to our input image. Okay, okay, this looks good. Look at this. Wow, this is very impressive. I didn't think... Yes, this looks perfect. <laughs> I kind of think it looks even better than the input image. Wow, this is good. Let's take a look at the other one. Okay, so this was a bit different. You can see this is a rat, not a mouse, right? But damn, that would look good. Look at that armor. Okay, I'm very impressed so far. Let's move on to try to recreate another image from image to text and try to recreate it again. Let's take a more famous image. You probably have seen this image somewhere. <laughs> I can't believe if you haven't. This is the workers building up New York City in the, I guess it's in the early 1900s or something. Let's try to recreate this image. So I just go slash describe. Let me grab that image, put it in here and let's hit enter and see what we get back. Let's take a look here. So you can see we have men at the top of Slant's Empire State Building 1931. Okay, so that's very precise. In the style of working class, empathy, Hudson River School, okay. Construction workers at the Empire State Building, yep, perfect. In the style of Golden Age aesthetics. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna grab two of these prompts, run them in mid-journey and see if we can recreate this iconic image. Let's take a look here. So you can see the style is pretty similar. You can see we get some colors in here. I guess this may be better. Let's take a closer look. Uh, I wouldn't say this is perfect. Maybe the bottom left here is quite good. Uh, it's not a recreation of the image we put in, but I wasn't kind of expecting that. I guess this is kind of good. This one too. It's not bad. If we take a look at the original image again, you can see the style is pretty spot on, but it's missing like the perfect features. I guess the, it just describes men at the top. It's nothing like they're sitting in a row or something. I want to try one more iconic image before we conclude this. This is the image I wanted to put in now. This is the iconic sports image of Muhammad Ali. So what I want to see now is if the image to text feature will recognize Muhammad Ali so I did run this three times just to see if we get some different results back. And this is a bit worrying. Um, you see, one thing I got here was Muhammad Ali died today at 86 from complication that stemmed from an aneurysm. What the hell does that have to do with this picture? I'm not sure. I guess it recognizes Muhammad Ali. And this was kind of strange. <laughs> Notable sense of movement, notable sense of movement. Of course, this is a new feature, so I don't know what we can expect. So what is my impression of this just out of the park? Uh, I think it's pretty interesting, to be honest. And I was really surprised how good this turned out. Just from this input image, we got four different prompts that are very usable. You can see both of these have the same style, but they different a bit. I actually think some of them was actually good, better than the input image. I think this has a lot of potential. We can learn more about how Mid Journey works, how it interprets images and turn them into text. It's kind of like a reverse engineering job. It's going to be interesting to explore this. Yeah, so let me know in the comments how you will be using this feature. If you have any great ideas, let me know so I can maybe test them out too. 
Uh, I'm gonna explore this more, try to find out creative ways we can use this. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you again in the next one.